Hello, I am Reverend Sudasana, and this is my game, Armored Commander 2, the World War II Tank Commander roguelike. So what I'm playing today is the soon-to-be-released Alpha 8 version of the game. I've uh, put a lot of work into it since Alpha 7, so there's been some new campaigns, some new units. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm just going to be doing a quick playthrough um, for one of the campaigns. I'm going to try to play through one single campaign day, see if I can survive and see if there's any bugs or crashes that still exist, and if there are, I'll have to go in and fix them. So we start at the main menu, I'm going to start a new campaign day, and I'm going to play through the Polish campaign. I'm going to pick myself a 7TP because it is the best armored, best armed uh, tank in for the Polish forces in 1939. So there we go. And one of the new things in Alpha 8 in the recent versions is that you're first taken to this um, calendar, this campaign calendar interface. You can see here the name of your campaign, the current date, and the sort of the, the flavor text or the explanation text as to what's going on. Uh, at this time during the campaign. Also from here you could start your day or you can head in and uh, look at your crew. For each of the crew there's a separate menu and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to apply my skills because my commander has two advance points at the moment and the other crew members have one each. So I'm going to apply their skills hopefully give me a little better chance of surviving a day. So of these, I think probably the best, uh, one of the best ones is certainly eagle-eyed because the commander does a lot of spotting. So we're going to add that one, yes. And his perception is three, so that's pretty good. So let's add a new skill and increase the effect uh, effectiveness of the commander directing fire. So for the gunner, who's also the loader, pretty much the most important thing here is crack shot, which just gives a blanket uh, bonus to hit when using the gun. And driver certainly, of, of the skills, quick shifter is probably the most useful. So, um, slightly increases the chance of a move forward or backward action, which is most of what the drivers be doing, going to be doing. So here we go, let's start the day. Uh, uh, default load of ammo. We arrive at the front lines, it's now 7.30 in the morning and we start our day. So. Um, most of what you'll be using here is the travel menu. A lot of the other menus now are just sort of showing information rather than having a lot of commands that you'll be using a lot of the time. Support, um, you can look at your crew and access your crew through this menu. This is the travel menu as I showed earlier, uh, telling you what your group is. So right now there's uh, uh, three of these tanks in one squadron, which I'm leading. And finally, supply. This will tell you your ammo load for your main gun. And if you want to re request resupply, you can do it here. The main, menu, the, the main menu that you'll be using in the campaign day map interface is the travel menu. So at the moment, the clear conditions, no precipitation, and dry ground, which is good for traveling, good for shooting at, the, at stuff. So let's look over here, get a sense of what the enemy resistance is like. It's four in both places. So I'm going to go along the road into this zone. And there's a resistance, so it's going to trigger a scenario. So um, usually my standard tactics or uh, strategy approaching a scenario, first thing to you do is um, definitely uh, open up the hatch if you can and try to spot what you're dealing with, because a lot of units you don't need to worry about too much. Um, if you spot something that's actually quite powerful, like a powerful anti-tank anti -tank gun or a tank, then you can start trying to go into a hold down position or dropping smoke or whatever. But for now, you know, the first order business is just a spot. So we don't know what this is yet. We didn't spot it. One of our allies took a shot at it and missed, but we know over here is a armored car with a 20 millimeter gun. Um, could quite possibly um, break through our armor because we're not a very well armored tank. We still don't know what here is, so I think my strategy now is going to be, since this guy is still pretty far away and because there's smoke here, I'm going to keep trying to spot this unit here. Okay, so it's the same. Is it the same? It's another armored car anyway. All right, thanks. So one of our allies destroyed that guy. And it's a similar, it was a similar armored car anyway. So now we're going to be hunting this target over here. So I'm going to change the orders to direct movement. Um, operate gun, although it's unlikely he'll be shooting anytime soon, and drive. 
And we're going to pivot the hull. Try to get it closer. Yep. Now, at this point, I could fire, but it's... Let's see. just want to see what his stats are. He's pretty lightly armored, too, so actually I might have a good chance of penetrating him at this range. So, yeah, even though I moved, I think I'm going to try to fire and see what happens. Close miss. Uh, almost, actually, I almost scored a hit there, but... I'm surprised none of the four of those got through. So now that we're stopped, I, what I might actually do is just sit here and fire because that seems to be the best thing to do. There we go. And we got a hit. Well, we want to do this phase. 64% ch chance to destroy. And it's destroyed. There we go. So that's a nice, that's a nice early victory for this day. So far, so good. So at this point, um, you can take a look. I still have lots of ammo, not really w worth um, spending time to get res resupplied, and I haven't used any support yet. So I'll show you what support looks like in a moment if I run into anything uh, sort of tough, difficult resistance. So we'll do some more recon. Yeah, definitely want to stay on the road here. Okay, so I got a, a artillery support bump. I think if I'm already at the top, it, it doesn't actually uh, change anything, but... Um, if I had used some of my artillery support, it would have increased there. Let's move into here. No resistance, automatically getting control. We'll do some more recon. Let's continue heading up the road because that uses less time, even though it's slightly higher resistance. Okay. So, four enemy units. Again, first thing that we want to do is spot. So, we're all on spot orders. Bunch of riflemen, the truck. More riflemen and another truck. Okay, so hopefully these two guys are a little bit of a problem because they do have anti-take rifles. Okay, and they destroyed one of my squad mates. So yeah, it's it's not it's not just an easy um, target, especially at this range. So I th probably the best thing to do is move and actually try to reverse um, because they're not nearly as good. The uh, anti-take rifles aren't nearly as effective at longer ranges. Alright, so we're moving anyway. It might be hard to hit. Alright, so that's one down from an ally. Maybe we'll just use the MG. Just stop. And if they're there anyway. Put some firepower down in them. There we go, four firepower. No effect, so they still dug in. All right, now all we've got left now is the truck, which we could probably get from here if we're lucky. Um, it's rotated. We rotated the target. It's moving. It's in the woods. Uh, no chance to hit from here, so we'll have to wait. Slightly better chance. All right, rate of fire, let's try fire again. One nice hit. Not destroyed. There wasn't a message though, so that's luckily a minor bug. If it doesn't crash the game or is otherwise, you know, impacts the game, I think I'm just going to leave it be and fix it, fix it in a slightly later version. All right, let's see if we can get closer. Whoa! All right, my commander almost got hit by a sniper. That's not good. Um, maybe you better button up. And we'll just we'll just fire from here about that. That seems alright. There we go. Alright, so even though I lost some allied tanks, um, right now after every scenario, you um, are your tanks your the number of tanks in your squad increases back up to the original number. This, it's not a great system, it's definitely going to change in the future, but for now, that's what it is. In the past, I had you, the player had to wait 
until you know more allies showed up. But going into a scenario, a tough scenario with just one tank, is is not going to end well. All right, so captured that one. So I'm doing well. I've got 22 victory points so far for the day. I haven't died yet, which is always a good thing. I am kind of cherry picking these easy zones, though. Um, this. Okay, so we lost one. All right, I'm trapped anywhere, any direction I go, I'm into enemy territory. Um, this zone is actually a capture zone, so if I take that, I get a bonus five uh, victory points. Why not? If I'm surrounded anyway. All right, two enemy units. Um, try to spot them to start. Armored car and truck. Okay, good. No tanks so far. Um, let's do request support because I haven't done that yet. I can always operate the gun. All right, so in crew action, if what your commander has requested re uh, support, this is the interface you use. So down here you can see the level of your support that determines the likelihood of them actually showing up, giving you help. You can go through possible target hexes here, and when you're happy, you can try to call in. Now, this indicates that support's been requested. At this point, though, it's going to take some time before I actually know I get a response from the artillery whether they can um, fulfill my request or not. Let's hope. In the meantime, let's fire some, fire some shots at this truck. So I hit it, but the truck is hauled down. It means something very big and solid, like a hill, is in front of it. So it was, it was saved from hit. Nope, truck's still okay. So uh, command phase. Um, I don't need to request support anymore because it's on its way. Hopefully this uh, armored car won't won't move anywhere. Yeah, it's very lightly armored. It's probably overkill, but I just I wanted to use the support function, get my artillery on it. One thing that's fairly new might have not been in the last alpha is that when you do request support, it shows up here to uh, remind you. So I'm going to uh, direct fire, help my gunner out, and much higher chance of hitting this round. Hull down again. We just need to need to hit its top. We can't just keep plowing these shells into the earth. All right, one of those hit. Still nothing. It's hanging in there. Well, let's just keep firing. So I'm still waiting for my art artillery to arrive. No miss. Or did you sense a little? I don't think it's a bug because one of one of my allies is actually hitting it and applying firepower. It's just it just keeps getting lucky. Is all. That's all. I I, I do imagine the trucks can be hit even when they're all down. So let's keep trying it out. There we go, so there's a hit. All right, so artillery is granted. The support is inbound. And on the next round, it will re resolve itself. The downside to artillery and air attacks is that they do take some time to arrive. So if it's a mobile target, if they move out of the area in the interim, then you know, it, it'll be ineffective and you have to hope that somebody else goes in. What it's really handy against is uh, things that don't move around too much. If these, they're stationary, like a, an anti-tank gun or an artillery gun, then they, don't, they can't go anywhere, at least not yet. And um, you can hit them with this, with the support attack. So let's hit them with an AP round anyway, just in case the artillery doesn't hurt them. And we missed. So artillery starts by firing spotting rounds. Still trying to range in. It's fire to me. Full effect. Hopefully nobody's. Oh, and we got a crash. We've got a crash. Okay, let me take care of that. Okay, so I fixed a crash there. That was basically just uh, an object that wasn't being referenced properly. It ended up, you know, crashing the game because it couldn't find the right variable should be fixed now. Luckily, it stops me from potentially uh, having my commander injured, which is nice. So let's continue with the game.
And we missed. Tiller didn't still didn't range in. And just keep using the gun. Another miss. Alright, artillery, watch out. That was an armor save by a uh, by an ally there. Good good for them. Another miss on our part. Artillery is ranged in. And we destroyed it anyway. Well, I had it there. I had it there ready to go just in case I did need it. So how's our ammo doing? Still doing quite well. We're about maybe three quarters through the through daylight. So we're not doing too badly. Oh, oh. All right, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. And friendly supply truck, thanks very much. So we don't have much time left in the day. Rain just began to fall, so it's going to take us more time to travel. So basically, I think if I move into a zone and a scenario is triggered, basically it's only going to go through one round and then it'll kick me out. Because unfortunately, that's the way that it handles the end of the, the combat day at the moment. So same strategy as last time, try to spot the first. And the campaign day, day is over. Kicks me back. So outcome of the day, we survived. Four battles fought total. That's uh, the scenarios that are triggered. Nine areas captured. Four gun hits, that's just uh, the player tank. Five vehicles destroyed again, just the player tank. Didn't counter any guns and two infantry. So there we go. So that is one day. And uh, when we reach the end, we can access the crewman menu if we like. But really the only thing to do from here is go to the next day. So at the end of the day, you see a summary of the wounds that your various crew uh, incurred. Also, it'll roll randomly, um, uh, invisibly, to see if they get any advances. My gunner loader has gotten two advances, so he was very lucky today. And we go to the next day in the campaign. Now here, I can either um, increase... So this is the gunner. I could spend a point to increase knowledge, which is good because that'll affect his... Uh, Crack shot skill, and we can add another skill if we wanted to because we have another advance. So maybe increase real chance of rate of fire because that's always handy. All right, there you go. So that's the end of this video. Uh, it's a short look just through playing one day through the campaign. I'm glad I fixed that one bug because it was um, it was pretty serious and it, it would have popped up no matter what. So I think I'm going to package this up and upload it as Armored Commander Alpha Eight. Thanks very much for watching.